Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. October college visits are just about done, but we do have the November lineup, so get your calendar ready for these dates. Remember, you do need a pass to attend these visits during advisory and at lunch. Here's the lineup. Tomorrow, the reps from Pikes Peak Community College have scheduled their visit with us. Seniors, listen up. Tomorrow is the magic day that will save you some money when applying to Colorado colleges and universities. Submit your highly qualified and completed application this Tuesday. It is the inaugural Colorado Free College Application Day. Remember, each institution will waive fees differently, so plan ahead and read the institution-specific instructions as well as the Colorado Free Application Day FAQs. Check in with Mr. Walker in the Counseling Center for more details. November college visits kick off on November 6th when the University of Wyoming reps will be here. Luther College will be here the next day on November 7th. On November 13th, the reps from Fort Hayes State will be here, followed by the reps from UCCS on November 5th. Plan to spend some time after Thanksgiving with the Adams State Grizzlies who are scheduled to visit with us on November 29th. Students, have you ever wondered what Discovery High School is all about but were afraid to ask? Do you think that a smaller classroom environment might suit you better to be successful in school? Are you behind on credits and need to catch up? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you should attend the Discovery High School information session on Thursday, November 8th during advisory. Check in at the Counseling Center for your pass to attend this event. If you missed any of these dates, check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. And now we're heading to the sports desk with Corinne McAfee for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Our Lady Glads volleyball team traveled to Pueblo for a tournament over the weekend and managed to add some wins to their record. Regional start this week. Good luck, ladies. In cross-country news, our team took to the trail this weekend and came back with some great finishes. Congratulations, Glads. In football news, our Gladiators met up with Pueblo West on Friday night, and the boys enjoyed themselves, but took a loss for the season. The next opponent for the football team is the Coronado Cougars on November 2nd at CA Foster at 7 p.m. Come out and support our football team. Our mighty Gladiator Marching Band will be perfecting its performance this week in preparation for the state quarterfinals on November 2nd. We know our band will make us proud. The forensics team was at the novice tournament over the weekend at St. Mary's High School and came back with some impressive results. Way to go, Glads! Ladies, the last open gym for basketball is today. The season starts soon, so make the most of this last practice. Speaking of winter season sports, that's basketball, wrestling, and girls swimming. Those practices start on November 12th. This means you need to get your yellow participation card if you are going to try out and then play. Pick up your sports packet with your physical form in the main office. Return your packet to the main office to receive your yellow participation card. Yellow cards will be available in the main office for winter sports starting today. Do not wait until the last minute to turn in your... If you do, you will not be allowed to practice until you have this important document. And speaking of winter sports, all students interested in wrestling for Whitefield High School this year, Coach Walker is holding his informational meeting tomorrow at lunch in room 124. If you'd like to try it for the team but cannot attend this meeting, please see Coach Walker in the Counseling Center. And finally, we are so stressed out that we forgot about our Damon's Daily Dose on Friday, but we do have his tip today. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health. Our health tip today has to do with coping with stress. First thing you need to be able to do is identify the type of stress that's happening in your life. Is it temporary? Is it beneficial? Is it self-induced? And is it controllable? Create a schedule that allows for time to do the things that you like as well as time to get the tasks done that need to get completed. Take on your task head strong and head first and don't just hope that they go away. Find healthy outlets for your stress, whether that's shooting hoops, taking your dog on a walk, listening to some music, reading a good book, or dancing in place. Remember to always be thankful and to be grateful for the things that you have, not just fixing our eyes on the things that are difficult, but trying to see the silver lining in our lives as well. There are people that would love to live the lives that you live right now.
Stay tuned on Wednesday when Mr. Damon will talk to us about how to balance our diets with all the treats we may be eating. That's it for your Monday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Corinne McAfee. Go out and support your Gladiator teams this week. Now back to Spencer and Jeremiah for more news. Thanks for the update, Corinne. The drama department proudly presents Dracula, the fall play. Show dates are November 9th and 10th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are $3 for students and $5 for adults. Come out and support your Gladi actors. And while we're getting dramatic, the drama department has announced the spring musical in its drumroll please, Little Women. Auditions will be held on November 13th and 14th after school in the auditorium. Sign-up sheets are posted outside the theater and choir rooms. When you sign up, you should select a monologue and a song from the list provided to prepare you for your audition. If you have any questions or need more details, please see Miss Caps or Mr. Larson. Hey Glads, your pink federal aid forms were due on October 11th, and if you haven't turned them in, what are you waiting for? Our attendance secretaries, Mrs. Kawakami and Mrs. Malone, are waiting on you to return your signed copies. Remember, these forms are critical to our school funding. Bring your completed form to your first hour teacher or directly to the attendance office. And now, here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu for today and tomorrow. Take it away, Seth. <coughs> Boy, what's for lunch? I'm hungry. Happy Monday, everybody. There's Monday. been a little menu change, so today we're having... Chicken sandwich. Oh. Tomorrow, Salisbury steak with mashed potatoes and gravy. And we're looking forward to seeing you coming down and having lunch with us. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for lunch today. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please pay your lunch charges in person or go online to add money to your account. Students, as the second quarter gets started, are you struggling in a class, need help writing better papers, or maybe just maybe you need to brush up on your study skills for tests? Then you should make an appointment for a tutoring session. NHS students are offering tutoring sessions every Thursday in the library. Stop by the library to sign up for a time and pick a pass. Finish the semester stronger than you started. See you then. Glads, you still have time to order your yearbook before the prices go up in November. You can order your yearbook in the business office or go to yearbookforever.com and order online. The cost is $55. Students, the library is holding a scary book giveaway every day until the end of the month. Interested? It's super easy to enter. Just check out a book, any book, and you will be entered to win a prize. We have a new group on campus called PIVA, Positivity in Visual Arts, and they are selling ghost pops for Halloween. 50 cents will get you a small treat for you, your boo, or your crew. Get yours at lunch today and tomorrow. Students, are you the king or queen of useless information? On Halloween, your skills might win you a prize. Join the freshman council on Halloween in the small gym to kick off your Halloween fun on Wednesday. It's only $1 to enter your three-person team and prizes will be awarded to the top three teams. And last but not least, the news you have all been waiting for. Our admin team has approved the wearing of costumes on Halloween. But listen up, before you show up in your Daisy Dukes and Hoopty Hoops, there are a few rules we have to follow. First, we cannot wear masks on our beautiful faces. Second, costumes must be dress code appropriate, so leave that skimpy outfit at home. And lastly, you must be able to participate in class activities like PE, shop classes, ROTC, and labs. You cannot use your costume as an excuse not to participate. That's it for our Monday edition, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.